Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video we have the Pro Fitness Folding Exercise Bag. Now as you can see, this is how it comes in the box. Um, this fitted, with the back seat down, this fitted very easily into our Nissan Duke. Um, if you've ever been in a Nissan Duke, you'll know that they're quite small inside, but it fitted easily. Uh, the length of the box is 122 centimeters by 38 by 24 if you needed to know that it weighs 19 kilograms and it's a little it's not really ever unless you're really weak you should have no problem carrying it um, <clears throat> so yeah we're just going to open it up now and have a look inside actually something I wanted to mention really quickly is that's how they gave it to me um, a bit of metal there sticking out I don't think anything's damaged we'll see when we open it up Okay, so we've opened it up, and as you can see, that's what it looks like inside. And I'm a little bit curious, curious, should I say, uh, as to whether or not this has been returned at some point because of the way it is. I mean, this, that's just, I don't know what purpose that's supposed to be serving. From the bottom here, as you can see, it's took another bash there. Bit dark. You can see there, but you can see it's damaged. Um, it, all, it all appears to be wrapped up and untouched. But yeah. So there, we have our instruction manual. That should be very simple to follow, I would imagine. I mean, most of this is in one piece anyway. You just have to attach handlebars and things like that. So we're just going to unwrap it all. Something I need to mention is while pulling this off here, I got it snagged on these wires. Now, I wasn't aware they were there, and I could have damaged those if I didn't notice them when I did. And so be mindful of that. Okay, so I've unwrapped everything, and I am starting to believe that this is a customer return. Because absolutely everything was wrapped up and great lengths went to wrapping everything up except for the pedals and these foot bars. Um, one of them had uh, packaging and elastic bands around it and stuff, and the other one didn't. So, um, yeah, I'm wondering if it's a custom return, but it doesn't look damaged anyway, it looks fine. So, our seat post, we have the main body with the pedals. We have a console and locking pin and allen key and things. Uh, seats over there which looks very comfortable and feels comfortable and our handlebars are there. So we're just going to start with building it. All good manuals will have a list of components um, telling you exactly what you should have in the box. So you should probably go ahead and just check you've got them all before attempting to build it. That way, if there's something missing, you can just wrap it back up, straight back up in the box, and take it back to Argos or wherever you got it from. I got this from Argos, and I paid £159 for it. Okay, so to begin with, we want to put our feet on the uh, back. As you can see, this is the back, and it's raw. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the feet on the back, and as you can see, I've already put the um, rear foot on there, and you can see the rear one has wheels on it. This is for transportation afterwards, when you've finished using it. Um, now do be careful um, not to damage your floor with this, because this is the heaviest part of the back, and when the feet are not on there, you could scratch your floor with the frame. So as you can see, fastened on with these bolts that were already in here you know, so you know that's what they're for I'll put the front on now so once you've got your feet on there and you've hand tightened them you'll take the spanner and just ensure that they are nice and tight you don't need to over tighten these just enough to ensure that with the vibrations it won't come undone. Okay, so it's time to put the pedals on. 
and they go on in a particular way. Now as you can see on this pedal, you see this L, that matches up with, you can't, I don't think you can see it from there, but there's an L on this um, pedal arm, so this goes on that pedal arm. And the other pedal has an R on it, and that'll be for the right sided pedal arm. I'll put them on now. So we've got both our pedals on, uh, using the spanner. Now the left one goes anti-clockwise and the right pedal goes clockwise in the... Yep. In fact, if you have a look, excuse me, it shows you that on the pedal itself. There's an arrow showing you which way to um, you know, fasten it in there. Um, next we'll put the seat on, the seat goes here, that's where the handles will go, the seat goes there. So this is the seat post, you place that straight in there, and this is a locking pin which allows us to adjust the height of the seat, wherever that might be. And you just screw it in there to ensure that it's safe. Now, in the reviews on Amazon, I've seen a lot of people saying things like they were too short, heart was, uh, and that the seat was too high. And I'm not sure if these people have realised <laughs> that this is adjustable. Um, but in any case, it is adjustable. Um, once I've built it all up, um, I'll adjust that up and down. I'll just see whether or not you can be too short for it. I mean, obviously, a little child will struggle on here, but I, I believe there was someone at five foot four, I think it was, said it was too too big. She couldn't reach the pedals. Um, I think she didn't realise that that adjusts. Um, but anyway, we will now put the, the actual seat on this seat post. We do that using the three bolts and nuts. So next we need to add the backrest on. Um, by the way, if you have a socket set, I suggest you use it because it's a pain in the backside using the spanner um, on those bolts. So we're going to put the backrest on. As you can see, that's where that goes. So as you can see, that's the backrest on there. Next, we've got to put the handlebars on the front. So as you can see, <coughs> sorry, so as you can see, the bolts are already in there. You just gonna take them out and then place your handlebars on. Now make sure that the wires are around the front of the back, pointing out towards the front. That way when we put our um, console on, we can plug them in around the back. So using the Allen key provided, we tighten those down nice and tight, as tight as you can. Same with your seat um, nuts and bolts. Now I'm just going to put the console on. And we'll do that using this. This will go around our bar. And our console will slide onto it. So using the screwdriver end of the Allen key, you'll fasten this bracket onto the handlebars and your console will slide onto it. Be careful when fastening this screw up because if there's anything on this back that's quite weak, it is this. Um, so be careful with that. Now all we need to do is wire it up. This one is the sensor wire. And there's just one of them. And the pulse wires are here. It doesn't matter which you plug them into. Just fasten them up. So as you can see, those are fastened up around the front of the back. For the console to work, you'll need to put some AAA batteries in there. And except for these foot straps, that's the back built. As you can see. Now, it's a very basic console. Um, there's a time, speed, distance, calories, 
can't remember what audio means um, and the pulse honestly I wouldn't really take all these all that seriously um, not the calories um, you I mean you need there's other factors though that like your weight your heart blah 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 I mean it'll give you an idea um, yeah let's just, let's just step it now this is in kilometers hopefully this can be changed to I'm just guessing here if it do it um, there's the timer so if you I just learned that if you hold the button in it resets everything now it can be changed to miles I'm not sure that's done so I'm just going to get the manual yeah so when I said miles I, I meant miles per hour you know kilometers per hour and there doesn't seem to be a way to change that even though you obviously can otherwise it wouldn't be on there you can just see it faint there um, but yeah you have uh, it's got an auto on off system reset it by holding the um, mod key for three seconds the scan um, function display the below functions in turn every six seconds time is your work out time speed is current speed obviously um, your pulse uh, calories burnt distance work at distance and audio apparently is accumulated distance so yeah this is basically saying you know keep your hands on the um, the um, pulse monitor for 20 seconds to get a more accurate reading um, but they mean this can still be inaccurate as can the calories be um, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like we can swap from kilometers per hour to miles per hour which is a shame um, but anyway let's put that on there in that booklet by the way there are some warm up techniques and I believe a few other bits and pieces talking about how you can keep a check on you know calories etc etc so yeah this console is not the best console but it does you know it does its job it does what it's supposed to um, yeah so it's a solid bag as you can see we have our tension control I believe right now, what are we on? That's on the highest, I believe, which has surprised me because that didn't feel too difficult. So, as you can see, tension number one. There's a clear difference between number one and two. Let's change again. Three, again, a noticeable difference to three. Not much of a difference there. Little bit of a difference on five. Let's jump to eight. Yeah, it's much more difficult on eight, but not. It's not overly difficult. Um, as you can hear, it's silent. In fact, it's so silent you can hear my um, zebra finch over there in the corner making a racket. So you can lean back. I went back on the backrest now and it's solid, there's no movement and the back overall is very solid actually it's very solid as you can see it's going through the different modes apparently I'm doing 0.4 kilometers an hour no idea what that P is, oh the pulse sorry never mind so, obviously the piece for the pulse, that's time and speed what oh, was that distance actually <laughs> I obviously don't know what I'm doing but anyway I didn't buy this for the console I'm not, I'm not particularly bothered what the console does uh, I can work out myself roughly how many calories I'm burning um, so yeah I'll jump off so it's very solid quite heavy 
which just helps it stay, you know, stable while you're on it. You can lean back on the back rest, no problem. Um, apparently, a maximum of 100 kilograms uh, for this back. I weigh 83, and it's it's fine. It's solid. I'm just going to have a closer look at the, the tension knob. Something that I completely forgot to mention is this locking pin should be used here when you have folded it up. It's a bit finicky. There you go. It's a little bit finicky, but we've got it in there. That ensures that it doesn't come on open by itself. Um, so yeah, I forgot to mention that. There we go. So when it comes to folding it, you just push the back wrist down, grab the handlebars, hold on to the back, and it's literally as easy as that. And you tilt it back onto the wheels and put it wherever you want to put it. To open it up, it's just as, as easy to open it up as it is to close it. Voila. Very easy. Um, Yes, I think that's it. Now, a problem that I've noticed a lot of people have been having is that they've been buying this and they haven't been tall enough to reach the pedals. Now, there's nothing on Ergos or anywhere else that says, you know, what the minimum height is. Uh, but I've just measured and the seat at its lowest is 30 inches from the pedal. So if you measure your inside leg, you'll get a, a good idea of whether or not you're tall enough you know, to use this back. Um, at its maximum height, it's 35 inches. Um, so again, you know, if you measure the inside of your leg, you'll be able to work out quite easily whether or not you can reach those pedals at the uh, furthest point. Uh, so yeah, what's that covered? So yeah, overall it's a good exercise back. It's very solid and heavy enough that you feel stable on it, but not so heavy that it's you know it's really difficult to um, pull around on the wheels. Um, so yeah, it's decent quality. Um, it's definitely worth 159 pounds. Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything. I've covered the the hat, all the other measurements, um, the console. Yeah, just make sure. It, I mean, it, to make your life easier, get yourself a socket set. It'll make it much more easier to um, tighten all the bolts on this thing. But yeah, I mean, because I was doing, because I've been making a video, this took me a bit longer than it might have. I mean, it would have took me ten minutes if I was just to crack straight on with it. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's a good back. It's well worth the money. Um, I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.